vRealize Suite Lifecycle Manager 8.0.1 has a complete new outlook and supports Easy Installer. With Easy Installer, you can migrate earlier versions of vRealize Suite Lifecycle Manager 1.3 through 2.1 to the 8.0.1 version. Note that for users with vRealize Suite Lifecycle Manager 8.0, you can upgrade to 8.0.1 from the vRealize Suite Lifecycle Manager UI. The migration workflow involves easy steps, starting from installing the ISO file and deploying with vRealize Suite Lifecycle Manager inputs. For a migration instance, you'll have to provide existing vRealize Suite Lifecycle Manager inputs and import or install VMware Identity Manager. This would complete the deployment of LCM and VIDM, and then migration is complete. Before you migrate a legacy vRealize Suite Lifecycle Manager to the latest version, you should have the SSH enabled for the root user. Let's first install the Easy Installer file from the My VMware download page. Browse to your local machine and click CD-ROM. Navigate to vrlcm-ui-installer and click the required operating system. In this video, let's select Win32. Click the Installer file. This opens the vRealize Easy Installer wizard, which gives you two options, Install and Migrate. As we are covering the migration scenario here, click Migrate on the Welcome Wizard of Easy Installer. On the Migration Introduction screen, click Next. Read and accept the End User Agreement. The Customer Experience Improvement Program is checked by default. Click Next. Enter the vCenter server host name or an IP address. Enter the username with administrative privileges on the target server and provide a valid password. You'll be prompted with a certificate warning message. Read the content and click Accept. On the Location page, select a valid data center or a VM folder where you're deploying your virtual appliances. Select a resource where you want to deploy your virtual appliances, in this case, Cluster, and click Next. Select a data store. The Enable Thin Disk mode is selected by default. Click Next. Configure your network settings by entering data in these fields and then click Next. On the Password Configuration Wizard, set the password for all products. The password you enter here acts as a root password and as an admin password for vRealize Suite Lifecycle Manager. Click Next. The VIDM credentials are only applicable for a new installation of VIDM. To configure Lifecycle Manager, enter the virtual machine name of the vRealize LCM appliance, IP address, and host name. Click Next. Enter the migration details of the older version of vRealize Suite Lifecycle Manager's host name, admin username, and password. Enter the root SSH password. Click Next. If you have selected to install a new VMware Identity Manager, then you have to configure a new instance. Enter the virtual machine name, the IP address, host name, and default configuration admin, and click Next. Read the summary and click Submit. After you submit the changes, you can view the progress of your installation or migration here. Once the action is completed, Click on this URL or copy and paste it onto a new browser. Enter the LCM user credentials to access the Lifecycle Manager UI. For more information on vRealize Suite Lifecycle Manager, go to docs.vmware.com.